Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. I pray that you are doing absolutely amazing. You know that you have a choice today, a choice to to just honor God, to love God, to be obedient. That's your choice today. You get to choose how much God blesses you. You get to choose how much space God occupies in your life today. I think that's amazing. You get to choose. So stop looking at your circumstances and start looking within to what God says that you can do every single day. I pray that God's favor is upon you. I pray that God's blessings find you wherever you at because he will meet you where you're at. You just got to seek him, baby. Knock and the door will be open, honey. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Glory to God. Guys, I want to talk to you about the love of God. John 3, 16. We all know this verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever shall believe. See, God loves each and every one of us, but we have to make the choice. Whosoever believes will have everlasting life. So, you know, it's a choice. You either believe or you don't. You know, just because you don't believe it doesn't mean it ain't true, you know. I've experienced God to know that He is real. And I challenge everyone. I said, you know what? Seek Him. If you don't find Him, honey, <laughs> I know you're going to find Him. That's why I challenge people. Seek Him and see what happens. You don't want to seek Him, you know. The point is, God so loved the world. It's about the love. The love of God transforms us. I want to read to you something. I know that love is the only thing that can save this world right now. It's the only thing that can save us. So I say... We have to fight the good fight of faith. And uh, I want to give what's freely been given to me, the love of God, the forgiveness of God. I do that freely because the only way I can do that is because God is in me. Because I couldn't do it on my own. Right? When the world tells you to move, it's your job to plant your feet firmly in the word of God and tell the world, no, you move. God is very specific. The word of God is solid. It's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. If you hold on to it, and you believe in it, I promise you that it'll come forth in your life. We need to open the bridge of faith so that God can come and manifest in your life. I pray today that you just open that bridge of faith and to invite God in, honey, and watch what happens to your circumstances. I dare you. I double dog dare you. I pray this in the glorious name of Jesus. Honey, I am on Freedom Street and uh, Awareness Avenue. Where are you at? Holla.